John Cristani here, and whoa, okay. A lot of CBD marketers are getting busted. Are getting busted. By the Federal Trade Commission, which regulates all the marketers in the US. This is crazy. And by the way, these are federal lawsuits. There are many more cases against CBD marketers that I have not been looking at. I, I, did, I just am dressing two here. And CBD products are also very popular on affiliate networks right now, and they're blowing up, but it's obviously causing some backlash from the US government. Now, an interesting thing about some of these cases is that generally speaking, the FTC would only prosecute companies that have earned at least $50 million a year. But in this, in these cases, you're seeing that these companies didn't necessarily even make $50 million. I think in one of the cases, they only earned $7 million from their scam. So the FTC is lowering their bar to go after marketers that are doing things they don't like. And you'll see the reasons why. Now in this first case, they, it's, it's just really bad. I mean, it's disgusting. First off, they framed themselves as a non-profit. They said they were a non-profit. And second off, they said their CBD products could cure cancer. Now, the reason why the US government is going after marketers at lower levels, especially in some of these CBD cases, is because it is an ingestible product. And anytime you have an ingestible product where you actually put it in your body, the government and uh, just in general is much more scrutinizing what these people are doing because you can possibly die. Other products such as, you know, if somebody sells bad clothing or a faulty shoe, you're not necessarily going to die. But if you sell somebody a product you put in your body and it doesn't work, right, or, or even worse, it just inflames stuff, it's really bad. And these marketers are selling an ingestible and you can't claim to cure cancer, folks. I mean, of course, that's gonna get you sales. There's a lot of people with a lot of conspiracy theories out there that claim they can cure cancer and whatnot. But when it comes to medical advice, you have to tread very carefully, okay? Tread very carefully. And in these, this company was using YouTube ads and they just went over the line. The next CBD marketer that is getting sued by the US government, it's named Steve's CBD Store. And what I actually kind of like about, what's kind of endearing about this marketer, Steve, I'm supposing his name is, is his website is complete C-R-A-P, okay, it sucks. And it looks like it was made in 1998. It's just a very old school looking website selling, you know, CBD meds. And it goes to show that you don't need a good looking website to be able to sell lots of products. And in this case, Steve was able, with a horrible looking website, to sell lots of products online. But he made one big mistake, is that this guy is claiming to cure diseases and other illnesses, and I, I think even cancer with his CBD meds. And once again, folks, if you're gonna be making claims, there's a certain degree of marketing, puffery or whatnot you can add to uh, put in your advertisements and in your funnels. You can't make medical claims. There's vested interest in the government to keep the medical companies going. Again, these Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, Merck, all these companies are very, are in bed with the governments of the world. So you're really going up against their vested and their special interest when you make claims that, you know, you can't prove with science because again, you know, the science studies are usually done by these big companies. So it's a hard game to play in if you're a US based company and you should, you just shouldn't do it. So. I hope this video has been informative and taught you a little bit about what not to do. There are things you can learn from these cases though of what to do. And you see that supplements are selling very well on YouTube ads, right? You see that you don't need a good website. You don't need a fancy website designer. You don't need anything like that to sell millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of products. So those are good takeaways. I spend thousands of dollars a day on YouTube ads, both for my products and other companies' products. And you can learn more about how to be an affiliate marketer going to my training course, 
down in the link in the description. There's a free training. If you want to work with your local community, if you're based in the US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, UK, or Ireland, you can work with my company, Marketing Tech, as a local marketing consultant and work with local businesses to do marketing for them. My software is completely free to sign up for and start earning money with. And between my different companies, we've paid out over four and a half million dollars to marketers like you watching this video of Take It Action. So I highly encourage you. We've developed an amazing software that's created a monster opportunities, not just for local marketers, but for local businesses to get their word out in the local community. Sign up at marketingtech.com. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a hoorah. Give me a like, smack that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can be informed of when I do one of my live streams. I do live streams only occasionally, but I do like interacting with you guys live, and the only way you'll find out about that is if you hit the notification bell. Talk to you soon, have a good day, go out and market some things the right way.